losing time, I'm fading fast I just wanna make it last Try to let go of the past I close my eyes, embrace the black Sleepless nights and headaches stack Restlessness to hell and back What's my purpose, what do I grab? Hi everyone, welcome to the Phoebe Way. If this is your first time, my name is Phoebe and this time around, I'm taking you with me to Tamale. Yes, this is another video in the Ghana vlog series. So if you have not yet checked out the other videos, please do after watching this one. Now, this is the Black Volta. So we have already left Kumasi that wasn't wearing the cap. If you have not yet watched the Kumasi video, that is the one before this one. And now we are getting ready to enter the Savannah region where we went first to Damango and then to see the Larabanga Mosque. Then we went to Mole National Park where we went to see so much in the wildlife. And then we continued to Tamale. And there we were having an amazing time where we had authentic food from the north. And we had just a great experience. The nightlife in Tamale is the best in Ghana. They won't tell you this. People expect the north to be conservative, but no. That is the best place to have a great time, okay? Tamale is hot because the weather is hotter up there, but everything in Tamale is nicer and better. It is definitely my favorite place. So here we have already arrived at Laragbanga Mosque. It is one of the oldest mosques in West Africa. I think it's actually the oldest in West Africa, if I'm not mistaken, but it was beautiful to experience. Um, you have to be Muslim to be able to enter. We're not allowed to take pictures inside as well. You're not allowed to step in there with your feet, like with your shoes. But it was nice time being there. So, Larabanga Mosque, that is it. Unfortunately, only from the outside. So, after leaving the mosque, we went to see the Mystic Stone. It has a legend that that's how the place was founded because the founding fathers of Larabanga or the person who built the Larabanga Mosque, they were guided by the Mystic Stone. But I don't have footage of that, unfortunately. But hey, we got to our main place, actually, the, the main place. The re main reason I went to the north was for the Moli National Park. And this is the office. our guide and also to book our evening safari tour and they were really helpful and also very nice we had our tour his name is Rakim and he was amazing <laughs> Sarah King. We are in Mole National Park and we have just begun with the afternoon drive safari. Safari is the act of going around, searching and gathering information about the here we have seven national parks. Mole happens to be the biggest and largest among the seven, which covers a land size of 4,570 square kilometers. Wow. Our park is So we're doing the evening safari. Here is our back there, Paul is back there with our guide. And Uncle Martin just pushed, pushed through. So I'm singing here because I, I just got told that this dam here has a crocodile. And I don't feel like that. I'm just be honest. And then um, we just saw a huge elephant. It's a savannah elephant and it's about nine feet tall. So I tried to capture it. I don't know if you guys could see it, but yes. So far, so good. They're coming back to the car. Let's go see if we would see. What did the guide say? We saw a water bug. We saw velvet monkeys. And we've seen antelopes. A lot of antelopes. Lots and lots of antelopes. We're going to see more antelopes. And yeah, so far so good. So guys, come along. Let's continue moving my head. So yes. But yeah, let's keep going. Yes, after that, we were trying to trace the elephants and we also got to have the opportunity to tour over there and also see the kinds of animals that actually come there. We actually studied their footprints. And also when you look up, I'll show you guys in a bit, you'll see where we actually lodged. That's up on the left side. 
Yes, and that is wow. Uncle Martin, guys. He is amazing. If you need somebody to organize your tour in Tamale, in let me know. Uncle Martin is there for you. What are we doing? We're on a walking safari, walking drive safari. And we are currently um, going to look at the antelopes. We've seen three different types already, Oda. Yes. And one of them look like the Bambi. <laughs> Fresh water, babe. Well, I'm going to drain this instead. <laughs> it tastes good. It tastes good. Yes, so apart from the antelope drinking, we actually finally found the elephant. I'm scared. Oh my god. A big one, we call it Nash. Nash. This is a friendly. Oh, he has a name. Nash. Nash. Uh, we have those that we name them. Some are there, they don't have names. Okay. We have Olu, we have Nash, we have Charlie. Mm -hmm. Then Major. We are friendly. Okay. Action and February is not friendly. Okay. And some are also there, they don't have names. Those that usually come close to the lodges and staff quarters, they are those we name. Mm -hmm. So, how do you know this is this elephant and that is that elephant? We are always with them, so the body shape, maybe the ivory, mm -hmm. the ear, we can use specific parts of this body to identify it. Wow. Broken. Oh. And tell you the tail end is top up. So they are actually older ones. Yeah. Ooh. Why is he hitting the other one? <laughs> uh. Wow. Are there still wild birds here? Come again. Are there still people who kill the animals? Yes, people do. Poachers. Poachers. Uh, but now it's much better. Okay. Years ago it was serious. But now it's better. Oh, you are doing the door. So at this point, I have to admit that once the elephant started walking in our direction, I was already in the car by the count of three. I'm fast like that. So this is actually not my footage. This is false footage. I was already in the car. I was so scared because guys, these, these beasts are very heavy and you don't have to play with them. They are old men, yes, but they don't know me like that. So I also don't play with them like that. But yeah, that was when uh, Mr. Rakim, our guide, um, raised his arm. He was trying to direct them to move away and they actually obey they actually didn't come in our direction anymore but i wasn't there to test my faith when it comes to elephants i don't play like that sorry <laughs> And that is how our safari session ended with this baboon. <laughs> and then we got to the lodge with this beautiful sunset, guys. So beautiful. So one thing definitely is that the sunrise and sunsets at the Moli Motel is beautiful. Beautiful. Look at the colors. Uluwa de creates a big, a big Godna designer. Chai. Anyways, after that, after sunset, we had dinner. Yes, plantain beans and a confirmed guinea fowl and then dried okra soup. Good morning, guys. So we are in Mula National Park. Get ready for our first, um, no, our second safari. We had an evening safari yesterday. And this morning, we're going for the next one. So we're waiting for Uncle Martin. Yeah. And let me just show you guys the view. Amazing, I'm just amazing. And we just got attacked by a baboon because Paul was holding a banana, he wanted to eat himself. But I think they smelt it right, right when you open the fridge. <laughs> oh, look! Okay, guys, let me show you what we are seeing. I saw a big bird down there, I'm trying to spot it. <laughs> So I'm really excited. I plan to see the sunrise, but I'm a bit, bit 
late, but you can still see the colors over there. So, so nice. And now this is the viewpoint. Let me show you guys. Let's look. Mm. Mm. As you can see, guys, this is actually the viewpoint or part of it, but I kept being distracted or getting distracted by the animals and all the things that we're seeing. It was just so exciting for me to be this close to them. And then those, I think, were war thugs as well. So we saw different kinds of antelopes, cub, pushback, different types, different types on Moli National Park. And you basically, you wake up to seeing animals, okay? You wake up to seeing animals. And that's our safari starting. But you wake up, and sometimes you are lucky there's an elephant um, in the pool when the weather is very hot. They come there to drink and all that when the dams are a bit dried up. So if you are interested in wildlife and having this one-on-one -on -one encounter with the wild animals, yes, you should. Ten uh, piglets. Yeah, at the go. Wow. That's the maximum number I can deliver. Yeah, only the hospital opportunities. Yes, we also tried to sight some beds as well. So with the telescope you have to like fixate on the birds and then try to have a closer look at them and that was also really cool to see. We got to learn so much, guys, so, so much. I should have gone there with the book to write, but unfortunately, I forgot some of the names. You know, it's it's been more than a month since I got back, so I'm sorry. All right, let's find more elephants. I'm fed there. Okay, so he's protecting them. Mm -hmm. I'm like coming for Rakim. I'm waiting over. The elephants has moved from dump two to dump one now. Aber es liegt eins da hinten auf der Bank. So they are going out now. So guys, 
this is the afternoon of day two. We are going to see a community. We're doing a community walk with Share Butter production site and canoe safari. So yes, I had to take a rest to dodge the hot afternoon times, but here we are. How do you like my scarf? I love it. I love it. As you already know, this is from IJ Franklin Clothing. She makes the scarves as well. So check her out on IG. Yeah, I got um, it for export. Oh, okay. Burkina. Burkina. Burkina yeah. doesn't have yams? No, they don't have yams. Oh. It's dry there. Mmm. Even at our edge, we can get yams. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Yeah, I hold it in. When you cross to the other side, it's not the park. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Now the river is from the park. Only river. No, the river. 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 The don't, don't video when I'm falling. <laughs> <laughs> you are safe. <laughs> wow, this is a balancing act. <laughs> yeah. Now, Jenny, I mean, because I'm thinking. Mm. <laughs> 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 oh, he said this. Well, there is a bit of a problem there. Huh? Which problem? There's this license exam I was supposed to write last week. Uh huh. It was about 150 years. He died last year. Mm. And the picture is just left over there. Okay. Okay. So nice. Yeah, but it's good. What happened now? Why did they start? take care of them? They are useful here. They are when recommended like some of the best birds you can keep. Mm -hmm. Pigeons, like the white ones, are used for special gifts. Yes. Is that gift to people or to their gods? Just to people. Okay. Yes. So highly recommended. Okay. And even even so even pigeons can use for sacrifices. Mm -hmm. They use pigeons for sacrifices in the African yeah. tradition. Auf jeden Fall Tauben. Yeah, das sind Tauben. Ich habe es nachgeguckt. Ja. Die werden ja auch hier als extra gefüttert. Is it more expensive than tamale or this? Some tamale is more expensive. Yeah. Ja. Ist von den Yams nicht satt. Glaub nicht. Ist das schick so. Sehr teuer. Und er hat wieder Pizza. Er tut. So after our yummy dinner, we rested up and then we did something that I never thought I would do a night safari, guys. It was scary. It was fun, but it was scary and very cold. It's very, very cold at nights in Tamale or in Damango. So be very careful. When you're going there, pack warm clothes, okay? It was so, so cold. And I'm glad I had the sweatshirt. Is this the Yeah. Hi, we're making a night safari. We have seen two criteria. The bush baby, the Janet cat, we have uh, the guns and antelope can say the pushbacks. We are showing them off the fight of the team. They like saying they're not the schlange or so off the straße. But yeah, we are here in the home team. We have all the taschen lampen and funzeln here in the night. And we look at the eyes. And now we're there. Moving on, we are going to Tamale. <laughs> And then we were giving over to Uncle John, and Uncle John got us authentic watching. Guys, this watching is amazing. But first, we drove through town as well. Look at this watching. Look at this. Look at this. I miss this watching. And yes, some club beer as well. <laughs> 
and we met new people, amazing people, also from Tadi, okay? The best come from the West. <laughs> and then we went to see different places in Tamale. So this is the main hospital in Tamale. We also saw the mosque and key places in Tamale. So Tamale is beautiful. Like everything is smooth there. Like it's not too crowded. People are much nicer. Like guys, I'll just tell you, Go to Tamale and have the experience of your life. That's it. That's what I can say. I enjoyed myself so, so much. Oh, okay. So, you know what's happening while you have it? So, that if by evening time, what's happening while you have it? Like, can you send me through WhatsApp what you have? Oh, you are quite nice. Okay, post up this side. It's a bit complicated. Yeah. Yes. Aber es ist nicht so voll wie das, was ich schon durchgemacht yeah. habe. Der Kumasi one is Kumasi worse. Was packed, ja. Kumasi was not good. Too full. Too full. Yes. Yes. For the forbidden streets. <laughs> Now let's talk about the food. Yay. The coolest there is from Tokyo, okay. Yeah. But the teas, the teas that is authentic, authentic. Yes, Paul had beans and rice and plantain, fine. But I had teas it, original authentic teas it, guys, with grilled pork. Oh, Aunt Marie, I miss you. I miss you. I miss your food. Yay, uh, guys, this is amazing. Tuazafi, it was hot, perfect. Oh. I don't know how to explain it, but this is the best teasers I've had ever in my life. And nothing can compare to this teasers, okay? Nothing. No teaser comes above this teasers. That's all I can tell you. Now, look at this. What is this? This is This is okra. Yeah, okra. And this other? Then tomato sauce, I think, to mix Thank you. Ayoyo. Ayoyo with okra. Yeah. There are also other blätter dabei. It's called ayoyo. The cream blätter. Bei meinem Stamm isst man auch ayoyo, aber anders, bisschen anders, ähnlich, aber anders. Okay. Can I help you? Yeah. Oh, you have to join us here. There's pork. Okay, sure. Are there's pork in here? Mm-hmm. Yes. This one down, so you have to serve yourself. Okay. Okay, thank you. I already said my flesh name down. Okay. I see the book. Here. All of it is book. All of it is book. Yeah, it's all small. Let me start to start opening again. Yeah. Hast die Soße von mir? Mhm. Guten Appetit! Ja. After dinner, we entered town. Guys, no, let nobody lie to you. The best night's life is in Tamale. Forget Accra, forget Bloomba, forget Garage. The best place to have fun is in Tamale. Okay? Watch this. Watch this. Nice. <laughs> Er fragt, ob es in seinem Bauch der Licht blitzt. Tamale, Obagbimye, Tamale will kill me. Watching this and 
um, editing this, I just realized how much I missed the place. I'll definitely be back. Mm -hmm. So we are back from Tamale. We just got out of the airport, got our car, and guess where we are? It's a crowded mall. Amazing so far. <laughs> We took pictures with the Takradi mall thingy and now we're just going to check out the mall and see how the mall is. So come with us. Yes, guys, so it comes to the end of this video. Basically, the mall has a bit of everything, a bridal store, a fabric store, a lot of clothes store, a kids um, clothing store, a food court where you can have local food and all of that. It's not bad. Of course, they have shop rights as well. In all, it's okay. They also have like an electronic shop where you can get phones and different home uh, appliances and all of that. But yes, I think it's a bit too small or maybe it's not busy enough or probably because it was a Sunday as well. But yeah, that was the Takrati Mall. Thank you so much, guys, for coming along on this vlog. I hope you enjoyed yourself. If you did, please leave a thumbs up, a comment, show me some love and I'll definitely take you guys along on my other, thri on my other trips in Germany. Take care of yourselves and see you same time next week. Cheers!